Good evening, everybody. Kevin Schoon here, creator of the blog, MyBottomDollar.com, a site dedicated to providing wealth building strategies as well as tips on personal finance and entrepreneurship. I'm just sitting here uh, watching the Yankees game. They're playing the uh, Kansas City Royals, so if you see me drop off or drift off, it's usually because Aaron Judge is probably at the plate. But that's neither here nor there. Um, today, I just wanted to talk about a few things, you know, the topic of investing and what it, what it means as well as what an investment is. Usually when I'm talking to people on my day to day basis or, you know, whenever people want to chop it up, you know, when the topic of investment, investing or investments come up, they tend to get intimidated or they have no clue uh, what I'm talking about or their frame of reference is very minuscule. And that's usually because most times people, when you hear the word investing or investments, they usually think about the, you know, the weird four letter, four letter words going at the bottom of the TV screen. Uh, you know, they think of people yelling at each other in a pit trying to get orders filled or they think about some guy up in some office, you know, some big head making some big decisions that could cost somebody millions of dollars. You know, and while that's while that's uh, some of it, that's not all of it. That's more or less the business side of it. As individual investors, you know, yeah, yeah that has no real place in, 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 in that kind of field. Um to define the word investing, you know, while this is no formal definition of investing, but the best way that I've come to define it is uh, the allocation of resources or the trading of resources with hopes of benefit, benefiting at a further date, further date, rather, excuse me, you know, and some of these resources include things like time, energy, money. Those are the three most common ones. You know, we trade time, we trade energy, and you know, we obviously need money for investing. You know, an investment, though, is the vehicle by which you hope to further gain, is the, ve is the vehicle that you use to re uh, receive that gain at a future date. So three of the most common ones are stocks, bonds, and real estate. Most people know about those. Uh, the fourth, though, that's not commonly talked about, though, that I usually put at number one, because it kind of sets the, uh, it helps provide the understanding for the other three is education. You know, you can't adequately or you can't uh, hope to benefit from a thing if you first don't understand it. You know, so you have to do the knowledge on it, you know, gain whatever insights you can and be able to manip manipulate it at your own will. So those are my four, those are my four uh, invest, those are four different types of investments. Um, Stocks, for example, are pieces of companies. Bonds are money that you lend to other people and they pay you an interest rate over a set amount of time. So that that could be a six month, a year, three year, five year, 30 year. Real estate, you know, is land or the housing on top of the land that, that you hope to uh, approve, you hope to improve with hopes that it, that it, uh, it grows in value, you know, maybe that you might sell it or that it just might be worth more and that it adds to your uh, personal net worth. Um, the, the receiving of these benefits, though, when you decide to cash in on these investments, is called capital gains. So whenever you benefit or you make more money off of the investment, the initial principal, that's referred to as a capital gain. Whenever you lose more money than your actual principal is considered a capital loss. So, you know, those are just a few things. That's just a little insight that I wanted to provide some clarity on when it comes to difference between investing and investment. So now if you ever want to uh, go on Google and, you know, do further research, you have a frame of reference or introduction to what those things are. And I'll go into uh, each investment individually in a later video. But... If that was useful for you, just do me a favor, like this video, subscribe, or even comment. Let me know. Just give me some feedback. I love constructive criticism. Is there something that you feel like I might have missed? If there's something that you feel like you need more detail on, please leave a comment. I promise to respond. Um, I, always, I always make sure to uh, interact with my others. If you want uh, further uh, insight or more knowledge, you can visit my uh, blog. The link is right there in the description. So my name is Kevin Schoon. I'm the creator of MyBottomDollar.com. I look forward to talking to you. Peace.